In this complete coffee tutorial, I will show you how to use coffee to its full potential and receive some money to fuel your passion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll be $500. Tip sweat punch. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and this is the structure of this video. You can jump to the right section by clicking on the timeline or the links in the description. Let's start by creating an account with Kofi. Just click on the first link in the description and you land on this page. And then click on start a page. So we're going to create the display name. I'm creating this just for this tutorial. So I'm going to add a test to the end of it. Then add your email address and choose a password and accept the terms and privacy policy if you agree with them and then you can click on create account and then there's a small questionnaire here and actually in this case we're creating to make money so i'm going to select that one and now you can select your username and in this case i'm going to use i'm going to use like this tips with punch and as you can see here you can change this at any point so don't worry about it hit next now we're going to choose an image. Let's do that. And I have a nice image here for the thumbnail. Doesn't need to be your face. Just pick a thumbnail picture. Then let's click on next. And now you can give some interest here. So for example, in my case, it's all about the IT and uh, the websites. So I'm going to select software, maybe blogging. Just select what the, applies to you as well. Then click on next and now you're going to see your uh, about you so display name and also the bio so in this case you can type in anything so i could just type in robert that's my name and i'm gonna add a bio i prepared something already like this and you could also call this something else so the display name could be something like support robert because this is a title that will show up on the page itself so i'm gonna leave it like this and my bio is now ready and I'm going to click on finish. Now you need to verify the email. This is quite standard. So I'm going to go to my email. And here you can see the activation code. You can just click on activate your account. Now it's telling us, all right, the page is set up and now we can actually already share it. So, okay. Now before sharing, you have to set up the payment settings. So that's what it's telling us here. So let's do that. So let's click, click on payment settings. Now, if it doesn't ask you for this, you can also here on the left, just navigate to settings and you'll see profile and then you click on payment and you'll end up on the same section. So now you need to connect either PayPal or Stripe. I recommend connecting both of them. So you have the PayPal and Stripe so that, that way people can donate with credit cards or Apple Pay or PayPal. That's I think the best way is to give as many options as possible. So you can just connect by clicking on connect button for PayPal. And it'll take you to the PayPal. And same thing for Stripe. If you have a Stripe account, if you click on connect, it'll take you and you can connect. It. So I'm going to return to coffee. So just connect them from here. And let's take a look at some of the most important settings you have here for payments. And for currency, just choose the one that applies to you. So this is not what the people will pay to you. So each person will see a different currency depending on their location. So that's why just select the one you want to receive the money in. And you have also the help sections here. And this way you're going to avoid some of those conversion fees. So really recommend it. And if you don't see your local currency here, just use US dollar. Then you can set the price for uh, coffee. If we set this to $3, that means for every donation, we get $3. But the donator can decide that they will give us twice that amount. So then you get $6 and so on. This is really up to you what you want. Some people ask for $1, some 3 and some for 5 It's really up to you how you feel, what's right. And here you can add a thank you message for those that actually support you. So. I'm going to just write something. Thank your uh, donator here or whatever you want. And then you have some advanced settings like a donation mode. Uh, so if you want to have instead of coffee, you can say donate me some money. That's all, also possible. You just uh, access it through here. But I like to keep it as coffee. I think it's more casual that way. 
one more thing let's go to profile and here what you can do also is add your website and you can also link your social profiles so whatever you use you can link them here all right and in the page settings you can also adjust some things like the coffee counter top supporters if you just want to switch off those widgets you can switch off i actually like to keep them i think it's fun that way you share more information about donations you can also change the theme color so the background color if you have the premium version of coffee and if you want to adjust who can comment so you can just put that the supporters can comment but i like to keep it to everybody to be honest not that many people would just come and comment for no reason and for a premium version you can also add different words so instead of buy me a coffee you can say buy me a pizza or buy me whatever you can update it here but again the premium version of Kofi. And you can also place a Google Analytics ID here and then you can see how many people visit the page and things like that. But again, it's uh, in the premium version only. So now you can go to your page. Now what's missing is the cover. So let's set it up here. Just click on the cover and drop files here. I'm gonna drop it here like this. They recommend that it's a 1200 by 600, but actually it can be bigger and in this case, as long as the main thing is in the middle, it works quite well. So my image is bigger than that, but it works still. It just takes the center of the image. Now that you know how to make your own page look like you want it, let me show you how you can create a coffee button, which you can place on your website. So just open up the hamburger menu, and then you can head to the section here, buttons and digits. Let's click on that. You can see now that we're in this place and you have this coffee button. Let's click on that one. Now you can modify it slightly. You can choose if it's a button or image. So it's really up to you what you like. I like to use the button itself, but in either case, you have to use a code. You have to place code on your website. So support me on coffee. Fine. I like to use something like buy me a coffee. And then you can also change the color here. You can choose whatever you want, but I'm going to just keep the default one. It was fine. And now you can just copy this code. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to head to my website and place it in an HTML editor. Let me quickly show how to do this in WordPress. Now, let's say this is my homepage and I would like to place this button somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Let's say it doesn't make sense on this website, but just for example, I want to place it Instead of the shop now, I want to place donate now or buy me a coffee now. So let's do that. All you need to do is actually change the block itself. So this is Elementor, so it doesn't apply to you. So I'm going to just delete this button here and I'm going to search for HTML. That's all you need. This works on any website. As long as you have HTML block, you can put it. Any editor in WordPress, same thing. So you just place it here. And now you can copy the code here and then you should see it here. Now, it might be that you need to actually save this page and then view it. And that way you will see actually the button. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to render it. But if I go now to my website and refresh the page, you can see the old button is here. I should see now the blue button of uh, Kofi. And now if I click on it, it'll take me to my Kofi page. So that's how easy it is to set up a button on your home, on your page. Oh, and if you are using WordPress and you want to place your button like this in your navigation, then pause this video and click on the white YouTube card here on top. There, I will show you how to do this. And the next step is for you to hit the like button. <laughs> okay, that was a bit cheesy. What if you're building a community around memberships? Well, no problemo. I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, next let's create a membership area. So. Just go to your hamburger menu and here you have memberships. Let's click on it. And here you'll have a bit more description what's going to happen, but you can basically choose your mode. So here you have three options. For example, membership tiers means that you're just going to have more tiers than one. Here, simply monthly donations. It just means that instead of one-time donations, somebody can support you every month. So let's build the membership tiers because a simple monthly donation is it's just a simpler version of it. So I'm going to choose this one. Then here you can add the tier. Let's click on it. 
and now you can give it the uh, first one. So let's say silver here, and then uh, price per month, I'm gonna set to $1, and then you can add also benefits. So for example, exclusive content, direct messaging, blah, blah, blah. For the first tier, I'm not gonna do anything special, so I'm gonna close this one, and I'm gonna make sure that I'll add some description here. Then if you want to, you can add also an image. As you can see that it has to be two to one ratio, otherwise it might be cut off, but I'm just gonna upload a square image, which will not work, but just so you can see what where it shows up. Then you can add a welcome message. And this is displayed whenever they join your tier. So if they take this tier, you can uh, uh, tell a bit more about the rewards or just what this tier entails. And there, there's a few settings here. You can en enable the Discord roles, request supporters address, limit number of people who can join, which is really good if it uh, entails some sort of uh, action from you. So you don't want too many uh, people joining it so that, so you have actually time to fulfill those rewards. Just gonna add a welcome message and then save this one. And so you can see I have the first tier here. Let's add another tier. Say this is the gold tier. And for this one, five euros and then description. And let's add and there's some benefits. In this case, I'm gonna uh, add some exclusive content for my uh, people that support me. This is just like an icon that you can easily see what is included in this tier. So if I wanna add another one, no problem. I can add it here, let's say Discord access like this. Again, I can upload the image. I don't have that many options, but just so that you can see where it appears. And again, again, same options. And I'm happy with all of these. And actually this one, let's limit this one. I'm gonna say, hey, I don't want too many people. So 25 people can only join this tier. So I'm gonna save it. And now you can see I have two here. And this is how you could just keep on adding more. So if we visit my page now, you can see that there's a new tab, membership. You can see that I have two tiers there tags here so you can see that they both appear here the text appears here and if i join now i don't think i can join my own but anyway here it tells you what's going to happen and here you need to enter your credit card so that the coffee can take monthly payments from that card so let's go back and another thing i wanted to show you if i go to my page you can see that there's also a membership option here now so you see silver tier and also gold tier and here there's also choose a membership level if you click on it <laughs> basically you go to the membership page as well and here in the setup it just takes you to membership setup all right so sometimes you want to crowdfund some of your projects that's easily achieved in Kofi with goals let me show you how next let's set up a goal or you could call it crowdfunding in Kofi so it's quite easy to set up you just go to your home page so your page and here you can see set a goal so add now you can give it a title so let's say and then you can explain why you need this why you want to achieve this goal usually you should give some good answers because obviously this will inspire people to donate to you i'm just gonna add some placeholder text here and then i'm gonna add what is the target amount so let's say i need a new camera and stuff and things like that and i need a thousand dollars now, it will take quite long to get this, depending obviously on how many visitors you have and how many people actually visit your page, but it takes some time. Let me delete here because it's telling me it is too long. I'll leave it like this, so you can't write too much. And then starting amount. So let's say I already have received some money. I'm gonna start with $50. $50. And you can also show the target uh, publicly and i think that's encouraging I, I would show it because otherwise if you're donating and you're not sure how much it is if i'm asking for a million then maybe that's too much for this so i'm gonna start the new goal when i'm all happy with this and now you can see if i scroll down here i see that i have a five percent through the goal you can see my text here this is the description text as you can see it's not very useful if you just put the placeholder text but this is now your goal. And now anytime somebody donates to you, this will get updated. You can also update this from here. You can see. So 
if I was mistaking, instead of 5%, uh, actually, I got already 100. You can change it here and update. And you'll notice that it also updates here. You see 10% because 100 out of 1,000, it's 10%. Duh. And in case you already reached your goal, you can then remove this or set a new goal. But, but you need to keep in mind that you can only set one goal at a time. So this is how you kind of create a crowdfunding for you. And this gets filled up by normal donations. So if I now, if somebody would donate to me, this would go up. Next, let's create a shop with digital product. All right, I switched over to my real account. So this is my real account, what I use on my website. And now we can go and create the shop and sell some products. So let me go to the hamburger menu. And then here you can see shop. Now, you need to change the shop status to open if it's not. And make sure you already connected uh, either PayPal or Stripe. Otherwise, this won't work. And now we can add a product here. Let's do that. So and I'm just going to give it a name like this. And then obviously you need to ch choose if it's a digital item or physical item. With physical item, you need to set things like shipping cost and things like that. But otherwise, it's the same process. So let's just select digital item because most people use that. Then click on next. And I'm going to add some. I'm just going to add some placeholder text for this demo. And then you can add product image. I have a very fancy image here. You can see that I put a lot of effort in this one. And then you have also the product video. You're going to ask so if you have some a video on YouTube or Vimeo where you showcase this product, you can also add it here. So I'll add a YouTube video here like this. And then you're going to add the product summary in basically a description in short. So I'm going to add something here and then you can select also the product category and the categories will be useful if you have more than one product because then you can filter out. So let's say this is a video. Add, now I have a category, but there could be also a category for, let's say, I don't know, um, a PDF or a book. So I'll add it there, but it's not actually a book, so I'm going to remove it. So it's only on the video. Let's save it. So now it's a, it's like a tag. Now you can either upload the file here or redirect by it to certain URL where you give the asset to them It's really up to you how you want to do. If it's a digital product like a simple PDF, then pretty simple to just add it here so let's say if it's that image same image then you can upload it here and now you can obviously set a price to it so let's say this is five dollars and you can also enable pay what you want so in this case whoever is buying it they can set the price this is a nice feature for those that don't know how to price it or they don't want to give a price to certain because some people will give more and some less and that will average out at some point. You can also leave a message or additional instructions for the buyers. In my case, it's just a video. It's simple, no instructions. And you can also limit the quantity if you want to have certain, I don't know, uh, limited edition things. So you can limit this to, let's say 10. And also you can allow buyers to choose a quantity. But in my case, I don't think anybody would buy more than one video. So I'm going to unselect. And just accept these conditions if you agree with them. And then you can save and publish it. All right, there you go. Now you have this link. So if you copy it and you visit it, you'll see that you land directly on this page. You have a video here. You have the product itself. And now somebody can buy it. You know, you enter here how much they want to buy for it. Let's say I'm really into myself, obviously. So then I am going to give, all right, this is actually, I think this is worth more than $5. It's $10. So now I could buy it. And you see, there's a nice logo here that only 10 left. That's like having limited edition. So I think that's really cool. So now it adds it to the cart. And if I view the cart, and you'll see a summary of your basket because you can add more than one product. And then you can pay with card or PayPal or whatever you've said that is acceptable. So if I click on it, it will actually take me to the payment method. So you can see I'm now in Stripe checkout. And now if you go to your page, you can see you have gallery post and shop. This is the new tab where you have all your products. <sighs> okay, 
the product is done, but what if you have a service you want to provide? Well, then you can use the commission section. Now, next, let's create a commission. Well, basically, that means you can offer any services on uh, Kofi. So click on the hamburger menu and here you have commissions. Here again, you need to have a payment method already set up and connected. And then you can see this. And again, if the commission status is off or closed, then just open it. And now here you can limit how many slots are available. So let's say if you do a, a cartoon, then you can limit it to five so that you don't get too many people requesting those so that you have time to actually uh, manage them and deliver. Then you have instructions to the buyer. So I'm going to add just a dummy text here. This is your opportunity to tell the buyer anything that they need to provide to you so that you can do your job. Then you have the standard terms here if you want to add something here. So what they should expect to wait, how they can use the, this, the commission, basically any royalties on it or maybe copyright. How does that work? And obviously also mention about refund policy if that applies to you. Again, I don't have anything right now, so I'm just going to add dummy text. Here you can also select the preferred uh, uh, communication. So email, Instagram, Twitter is really up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to leave email because that's easiest for me, but you could also type in Instagram or whatever. Then you can choose the commission. So let's add a choice. In this case, I'm going to set up the service I'm going to provide. So let's say I want to create um, a website. I can add a description. Obviously, be more descriptive than I am now. This is just for the demo. And then obviously you set the price. So let's say for the website, I want to, because it's uh, customized and everything, it's going to actually uh, be priced at 1500 euros, just because it takes some time to deliver. Then you can add some example uh, images. In my case, I don't have anything, so I'm going to just add the same images. But just so you can see here, you can add images here. Then you can also add add-ons to it. So let's say if it's beyond the uh, website, I want to also sell, let's say, I don't know, uh, SEO services. I can add that. Maybe content entry. You can add more things here. And these will show up on your commissions page or basically the services page. And again, you can limit available slots for this item. So let's say, okay, if I have five at the same time, that's more than enough it will take me some time to actually deliver this but right now since i'm just starting out i don't think i need this it's a bit too much uh to expect that i have five orders right now but for later i think it's good to limit later on so i'm gonna select enable because i want to show this and i want to see this so i'm gonna save this and now you can see we have a new commission here and you can add another one if you want to then if you want to add specific payment methods to this one, you can see that I don't have uh, PayPal yet connected and I really advise that you have both of these. Now, here you can see direct link, how you can get to this page. So you can copy this one if you want to. And you can add a preview image. This displays only when you're uh, uh, putting this uh, link in social media like Facebook and Instagram, then you will see this like a preview thingy. It's an image. So if that's something that applies to you, just uh, click on browse and add an image that fits those descriptions. All right, I'm happy with this. So let's take a look what we have. So I'm going to click on uh, my page. And then now you can see we have gallery posts, shops and commissions. So let's take a look what we have. All right, now we have create a website here. And if I would have more than one commission, it would show up also here. It would just be like a list here. All right, so oh, blah, blah, blah. The title shows up here, the price and the description with the images. You can see I can click on the images, but let's take a look at the request. So everything that you see in this one, you have to basically, the users have to check it here. And there's some add-ons and those show up in the, a bit later. So let's take a look. Here you can see instructions. Then you have description. So as a buyer, I need to provide the description if I want a certain type of website. Based on the instructions, I'll also provide the descriptions. Then you have the uh, contact details. So, okay, uh, how can I contact you as a creator? How can I contact the client? So this is where they explain it. 
And then if they want to add some specific services, they can add them here as an add-on. So let's go to next. So these are my terms as a creator and as a buyer, I'm going to accept them and then go to payment, right? I didn't give the contact details. I'm just going to use something like this and let's click on next. I agree and go to payment. And again, the payment looks exactly the same as before, where you can see the summary here and you can go on and buy it either with PayPal or pay with a credit card. And let me quickly go through some other cool features which you should know about for later. If you're on your page, you can also post a quick update. So you can either add image, blog post, video, audio, whatever you want, or just text if you want to. Here you can also thank people that actually donated to you or bought something because this is what they see when they come and want to donate. This is the first one that shows up here. So here in the feed at top. So let me show you. I'll just add something quickly. So if I add as a post, you can now see it should appear here at the top. You can also delete it if it's already irrelevant. If you go in the hamburger menu and click on street button, stream alerts this is where you can actually add this code and then you'll see this kind of stream alerts that somebody donated to you because you can add this to your youtube streams to your twitch streams and then people will see who's donating in this way people can see that other people are donating and that just makes them more likely to donate to you as well and you can also set the call to action here and there are some other settings here uh, i would really get to, to know this if you're into streaming and then if you ever want to upgrade, there's also a premium version of Kofi. And you can read through all the features here, but this is really good if you're using it often, if you're selling products, because then you have zero uh, platform fees. Really get to know this. It's uh, not that expensive. The price is really reasonable. And it's something that you should consider if you're using more of it. One of my favorite ones is probably really stupid one, but you can change the coffee to anything. So in this case, tea, pizza, beer. I think that's really cool. If you uh, if you are into pizza more than coffee, you can request that. And with the, with the premium version, that's possible. If you want a fancy button like this one right here in your WordPress menu, click on the video that should appear right here. It only takes a few minutes to set up. And then if you want to get my tips to increase your chances of getting a donation, click on the second video right here.